everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my front yard here in Zoodestia Zoo staring at all of my adorable squicken! Look at those little tentacles! I just want to pull on them a little bit but I don't think Quill would enjoy that very much. But you know guys, ever since we knocked down the fence and kind of expanded the chicken squicken dodo cookie hen area, I guess they have a lot of birds in here. <laughs> but ever since we knocked down the fence and we expanded this area, I don't think that the, the quills have been cloning themselves quite as quickly. Maybe maybe it was some sort of weird competition for space? I'm not sure how that would make sense with cloning, but I haven't noticed any additional quills, so I'm not sure about that. But there are still several Carloses, so I might- I hear that a certain somebody, a certain Edson, actually enjoys dodo birds, so we might ask him if he would enjoy having some of my Carlos clones, because I'm sure they're ready to fly the coop. Uh, quite literally, actually. Well, you know, they can't fly, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and we have all these eggs! What am I gonna do with all these eggs? Maybe I need- what can you do with ink sacks? Every time, every time I see this- all these ink sacks, we ask ourselves, what can you do with ink sacks? And I'm always stunned. The swan paddle boat! <gasps> we can make a black swan paddle boat and put it down at Tate's dock, that would be really fun! Oh my gosh, maybe we'll just give a whole bunch of them to Edson as a, like a welcoming gift because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do with that many insects. It's kind of amazing. We really should have an NPC or a or like a place in the village in the future that we could trade those in. But anyway, welcome back to the zoo. So, it hit me, it hit me, my friends, that we have a couple tasks that we really need to accomplish. Number one is taking care of our new pig, Fig the Pig. It's actually kind of hurt. I need to go and check on it and make sure that it's still okay. It's hanging out with the vampire penguins who attacked us last time. Ben actually swung by to check out the vampire penguins and they're all doing fine and he threw some health potions on the vampire penguins because a couple of them had taken damage somehow so the vampire penguins are fine and I was like oh good those splash potions will heal Fig too no Fig actually moved to the side of the room while we were trying to heal up the penguins too and somehow he dodged all of the little healing potions so ow happy birthday for crying out loud so I still need to heal Fig the pig. Ow, that really hurt! Jeez, you guys are just, you're naughty little things. So I still need to heal that pig, which means I need to get a splash potion from Bella, my chemistry cat. And it occurred to me when I came over here to Bella and realized I did not have enough nether wart to make her happy. She's here in our chemistry lab in the labyrinth. Do you get it? It's a, it's a maze, so it's a labyrinth. Only it's also like our lab, so it's the labyrinth, like a pun. <laughs> anyway, we have Bella over here, and she only gives these splash potions, and she only helps out people who work here at the facilities. To prove that you work at the facilities, you provide her with the zookeeper experience points. And to get zookeeper experience points, you basically work for any of the zoo employees that we have here in Zudesia. Bella is one of them, but we also have a lot of zoo employees who are over taking care of the animals. So when I came over to Bella and I realized I didn't have enough nether wart or anything else that she wants in order to get a splash potion from her just so I can heal Fig the pig, it occurred to me this is an excellent time to go and help out our other zookeepers, like the ones who are taking care of the red wolves and the ones who are taking care of the white-tailed deer, and we can actually collect the special items that they have. So we're going to go and collect some of the special items from those people to give as gifts to Edson so that he can see all of the various things that are available. Ugh, I'm tripping on this fence. There we go. All of the various things that are available if he wants to come and visit our zoo. He can see the unique foods that are available. He can see the unique items that we have. I personally think that he might really enjoy that. So we're gonna we need to go get like Lily and Tate or a couple of the puppies. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna tour. Wow, look at the size of that garden down there. We're gonna tour the zoo and we are going to help out some of the zookeepers and gather some of the unique items that you can only find here in Zoodestia to be able to show Edson who's one of our new members, what it is like to come and visit the zoo, to try to encourage him to come and do that. Because our zoo is amazing and we're building it so people can visit. So that's the whole point. All right. And then we're going to come over. I need to get some food. I, wait, I think I have a bunch of food. Yeah, I've got some french fries and mixed salad. So we'll go ahead and eat that. Then I need to make sure I have zombie jerky somewhere. I was going, oh, and why are my backpacks empty? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a secret. You guys will hopefully find out soon. All right. Because we do have a few things we need to deal with. One of which, oh, there's my food. Oh, and there's that skeleton horse. Do you need to, I need to do something about that skeleton horse too. And there's a little bit of the zookeeper experience points that I gathered. And there's the zombie 
baby jerky, aka the rotten flesh that we can feed to our dogs. Oh gosh, and I'm really hurt, so we're gonna eat some salad and watch the Aukies. Oh, they're so cute! All right, but yeah, so we're gonna gather up some stuff from around our zoo that's exclusive to Zudesia so that Edson will have an idea of what he could find if he wanted to come over here. Maybe spend a little bit of time working in the zoo as a like part-time zookeeper as well. And then, I know, come on Lily and Tate. All right, you're gonna go ahead and we'll just set her to aggressive actually. Lily likes to really defend us if need be. There we go. Actually, Pine, do you wanna come? I think Pine wants to come. Tate. Uh, okay, Lily, do you mind waiting here? We'll leave Lily here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll snag Pine. There we go. So he can come with his dad, and we can go on a nice walk with these two. All right, there you go, Devin. Little scratch behind the ears. There you go, Alia. Oh, gosh, now I have to pet everybody. There you go, Iris. Oh, and I need to pick up the puppies from the puppy daycare, and we need to have a dog quest. I need to do that. Trust me, I'm working on a lot of amazing things, including preparing for you guys to meet a lot of new people behind the scenes. So hang in there, you guys. But yeah, okay, so task number one, heal fig the pig. To heal fig the pig, we actually need to go get some zookeeper experience points so that we can buy a splash potion. And then the other thing I wanted to point out to you guys, and we'll grab this now just while I'm thinking of it so I don't forget, is that the other project that Bella really wants us to do is to build a medical herb greenhouse. And I realized we don't really have any start on that. We don't really have that greenhouse set up. We don't have, where on earth are my medical herbs? We don't have, um, yeah, here, like the aloe vera leaf. So we need to figure out a way to be able to plant aloe vera. So I need the actual herbs. So I know I have a whole bunch of them somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I don't have any of the medical flowers just yet, but we do need to get a medical flower garden started so that, yeah, I can't find any of them, but I know I have a whole bunch of them somewhere. I saved a whole bunch of that, that torch ginger. Is it in here? I saved it because you can use them to make medical salves and things that are very useful for healing. Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to find it later, Pine. Oh, and the Aukies are like stuffing. Yep. They're stuffing some rutabaga and some leeks in here. All right. Don't mind me, Aukies. I'll put those where they belong. But I do need to start a medical herb greenhouse. And I was trying to figure out, well, where would we set that up? And then it occurred to me, we should set it up over by where we are going to be putting the butterfly house. So the butterfly greenhouse is going to go down here. And I should probably grab a sign or something. Do I have any spare signs? I kind of emptied my inventory because I was getting ready to tackle the next problem, Tate, which is figuring out where to put the vampires, the little vampire penguins. But now I'm tackling too many things at once. So don't worry about that, you guys. Now I'm just rambling to myself, trying to organize my thoughts. All right, where the heck? Do I not have any signs? Okay, let's come. Pardon me, little chips. Let's come over here. So yeah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna grab the sign so that we have something to do and I'm gonna put my armor on just in case. And then let's go see how our chickabos are doing! Our chocobo chicks! I don't think they'll have grown very much. Quiet please, nesting chocobo head. <gasps> They're so cute! Look at them! Aster seed sunflower, you two must be so proud! I'm still amazed that you ended up with purple ones too! Oh, Sunflower, congratulations. I'm sure these little ones will grow up in no time. Birds tend to grow pretty fast. Oh gosh, what a beautiful family you have, Sunflower. Oh, there you go, little pat on the nose. All right, Astro Seed, little pat on the nose. All right, come on, Pine, come on, Tate. We're gonna go to <laughs> Pine. <laughs> well, all right, we're gonna keep moving. But yes, so I wanna set up the medical herb greenhouse. And I thought, how fun would it be if we had a multi-story greenhouse? So a greenhouse that has multiple stories to it. And I want to put it over by where we're going to build the big giant butterfly house. So we're going to have a gigantic butterfly house. Hmm, you can't really see anything from over here. Can you see better over here? Not really, because it's night. Can I make it day? Nope. Night? Okay, well, we'll figure that out. But I want to build this clear area over here. I want to build that into the... Oh, jeez, Tate, you startled me. Into the butterfly house. So, hello, Alexis. We'll be visiting with you in just a second. I have to organize my thoughts because I'm just all over the place. Let me grab some torches. And anywhere I see torches, I know I need to come back and put down some of the better looking light sources later. Dun dun dun! That mountain! Do you guys remember it? Do you remember when we came over here and we're like, yeah, that mountain. Oh, look, it's the little turtle that we saw last time. Oh, that's so cute. 
This is going to be transformed so that we have like a dome coming down and it's going to be this gigantic, beautiful butterfly greenhouse one day. One day, a big dome you can go into and it's going to be filled with butterflies and flowers and really pretty. And then it occurred to me that we could do a secondary dome that's like attached to the butterfly house that can be multiple stories. So like one, two, three stories of medical plants. So plants that have different medicinal uses like the torch ginger. In fact, let me show you guys that one as an example. Here's the torch ginger. You find them in the jungles. I need to find where I put all of mine because I know I was saving a whole bunch of them. And you can combine them with sugar and seaweed wraps to make a healing salve, which actually will heal up several hearts. And it, because it is a medicinal herb, it is one of the ones that Bella is researching. And so that's why she wants us to grow some. And they're a little trickier to grow because they're plant mega pack plants. And so I've been meaning to start a medical garden for a long time. Oh my gosh, it's a butterfly. <gasps> I'm prepared. It's a butterfly at the future butterfly area. Not to mention I need to get at least a tiny butterfly greenhouse. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got it. It's a moth. It's a moth, you guys. A macromacia moth. How fun. Oh, gosh. And there's turtles everywhere. I love this place. I love this place. Here, you guys. Have, have some zombie jerky. And we'll look up the butterfly in just a second. But yeah, so I want to have a multi-tiered, multi-storied greenhouse. Oh my gosh, there's more moths. All right, where am I? Nah, <laughs> I've come prepared. Don't underestimate how much I love catching these guys. In fact, maybe I should go get Edson a butterfly net too, because I love catching these guys. Just imagine if it gets really popular with the other people on the server, and then we start trading butterflies or doing butterfly catching parties. Come here, moth. Come here. Come here. I know that Pavo wouldn't be into that. Oh, he escaped. I know that Pavo wouldn't really be into that because he's afraid of them or like they, they creep him out. All right. Wait, there's that moth. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Come here, little one. You stay right there. That's right. And just get in, get in, get in. <laughs> Another moth. I am pleased. I'm pleased as punch. And I imagine moths would actually be very common over in the Village of Light since they have so many uh, glowstone flowers that really kind of make the Village of Light what it is. But all right, we're going to grab our little signage and we're going to put multi, multi-story medical herb greenhouse. And that is our goal for over here. So that's the little story I needed to tell you guys about what we're going to do with those medical herbs. We're going to have all sorts of them in there, like Eucanasia is going to be in there. We might have a cinnamon tree area, like a little cinnamon tree grove. But I really want it to look really nice and maybe even have some botanist researchers who can tell you about how those... Oh, look, you can see! You can see the Great Phoenix's tree from here. That's so cool. We'll have to go visit sometime. But you could have all sorts of botanists who could tell you how those herbs are super useful. We could have willow in there because aspirin is actually derived from willow bark. So that would be an immensely educational place and a place we could probably run into all sorts of visitors, all sorts of NPCs who would want to learn about how to really heal and how to make more healing items. And you might be able to go there and pick up a whole bunch of healing items if you were getting ready to do something dangerous, like maybe go to the nether or the stronghold. Ugh. So that's my little story about the medical herbs and what I wanted to do with them. And then over here, huge butterfly house. That, uh, well, I should say huge butterfly greenhouse. That's what I have planned for over here, my friends. Yeah. All right. So that's the medical herbs and its ideas in the bag. And I always want to share my ideas with what we're going to do with you guys because, oh my gosh, do you ever come up with some of the best? Arzu would not be what it is without your ideas. All right, so now that that's said, we're going to go back to work at trying to collect things that you can find here in Zudesia, gather up lots of zookeeper experience points, and be able to use them to get that splash potion to heal Fig, but also to collect lots of different items from around the zoo that are only available here, so that Edson will be able to know what amazing things exist here. So this is Alexis. She is one of our amazing interns. She has an adorable tree over here, a peak of pine planted by Alexis, and she also has this beautiful little foresty area and if we come and talk to Alexis then she will actually have all sorts of useful trades for you oh and she also loves I forgot how much she loves maple syrup pancakes that's awesome and I don't really have any spare leather boots but you often catch those when you go fishing she'll also give you all sorts of interesting plants let's see I don't really have any trail mix she does have a bunch of beautiful moss I love those moss patches she collects columbines and she's found some wild carrots so Alexis has some awesome stuff and I don't really have anything I can trade with her 
but we could get the spring onion of friendship soup. <gasps> Let's collect some wild onions and get some spring onion of friendship soup to give to Edson. I think he would enjoy that. And maybe even a field snack if I can find some maple syrup and pine cones around the place. Alexis, do you have a pine cone? Oh, she, she could give us a pine cone. I bet we should come over to the pine trees and we should have some sort of birdie that knocks down pine cones pretty... Uh, Alexis, the traveling botanist. We should have a bird who sits up in that nest and knocks down pine cones every now and then, shouldn't we? <gasps> That's excellent. What kind of bird do you think we should put in there? I think it should be a cardinal. I think it maybe it should be a cardinal or <gasps> a squirrel. We should heal one of the squirrels and release it over here and then it will let go of a whole bunch of the the like acorns and a whole bunch of pine cones. You guys, what do you think about that idea? We need to heal one of the squirrels at some point in the future from our squirrel rehabilitation center. And then once it's healed, we can release it here and it can drop pine cones and all sorts of useful things for us. Well, I'm not sure how many people would consider pine cones useful, but I do. Oh, I love that idea. All right. Anyway, oh, and what else can we cook over here because she can teach you all sorts of field recipes the mushroom skewer and sauteed fiddleheads so maybe we can find some small ferns that we can gather up all right here is here are the wild onions i need to get oh did i smish it alexis i'm sorry alexis i'm so sorry oh gosh all right i'm gonna have to like fix that Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I don't have a hoe or anything, so I'll just have to come back and, like, plant more of these wild onions later. Alright, there we go. Man, I'm so excited. We'll be able to share this with Edson and let him know that there's, like, a lady- Oh, wow, there's wild onions all over the place. That there's a lady that he can learn some, like, wild crafting food recipes from. Oh, I love our I love our zoo. I really do. I love how the land has come to life and there's just so much to it. Pine, do you love that shelf mushroom? Because I love that shelf mushroom too. Alright, how much spring of onion friendship soup can we make? And we can make five soups and we still have an extra onion. Can I eat it? Well, I'm not hungry enough. Oh, Alexis, the sunrise is so beautiful over here. I'm not hungry enough to eat it yet, but we do have that. I guess I could offer some onion seeds. There's that. All right. Oh, and our beautiful trees, you guys. I have so many to plant. I'm actually thinking about starting like a, uh, a little baby side quest series that's not really like a regular series it's just something that goes up when i get behind just planting trees and showing off the new interns and npcs wishing on clouds planted by alia oh so beautiful oh and you guys remember i almost forgot how could i have forgotten mr mole mr mole is down here and we can actually come and you can trade all sorts of nifty things to him if you just need like some root strands to decorate with oh mr mole how could i have forgotten that we ended up with mr mole just because we needed root strands for decorating inside of the um, Tate and Tackle. Ah, and we still need to finish the Tate and Tackle. Isn't that right, Pine? We should do some fishing at some point, too. All right. But speaking of helping the people here at the zoo, all of the employees here at the zoo, and speaking of gathering Zookeeper EXP, I do believe, let's see, that we could come over to Cassidy. Cassidy, my friend! All right. How are you doing today? Oh, don't worry about my cat, Taz. He doesn't hurt the squirrels. That's right. She has her cat, Taz, and her bunny, Smokey, and they hang out here, too. Tate, that's rude. Get off. Get off. That's, like, medical supplies. That's for the, the squirrel rehab. Don't do that, Tate. All right. Have you ever seen a baby squirrel? They're so cute, even though they are hairless, tiny little things. They are so interesting looking. If you've never seen, like, a brand new baby squirrel before it gets fur, you definitely need to check in on it. Like, look that up right now. It's adorable. All right. And as you can see here, we can get lots and lots of zookeeper experience points from her if we help gather up some of these things. So do we have anything I could trade with her? Hmm. Seeds, pecans. I don't think I have any pecans. No sunflower seeds. Well, I, is this pecans? <gasps> Yay! All right. And then we can see if there's anything kind of unique to this area that we could offer. I guess we could give him a bunch of pecans or maybe, can we make a pecan pie? We could make a pecan pie and be like, there's fresh pecans to pick over at the squirrel rehab center. Also, if you want a squirrel, they're there too. Where's the, hello? The dweed poo! Oh, look, and there's a hedgehog down there, too! Oh, you guys, just wait till there's, like, beautiful cranes and all sorts of other things wandering along our wetlands. Oh, I love this! What a great time! What a great reason to be able to wander around and just appreciate the immense amount of work. I know, Pine, I know, I'm focusing to be able to appreciate the immense amount of work and everything that we've done. It's just so awesome. All right, thank you, Specialist Cassidy. All right, and let's come over here. 
And let's see, Specialist Alyssa. Interested in helping our squirrels? Perhaps adopting one of them? Check inside for more info. Hello, Alyssa. How are you? Oh, I forgot. She does have unique things. Ah, oh my gosh. And you can get pine cones from her too. Yes, we could go back and do that. Like field, the field snacks. That would be really fun. Oh yeah, and the walnut squirrel plushies. Oh, how could I have forgotten those? Those are so adorable. Triple nut bread, walnut pecan pie right there. Nibble of nuts muffin, sunflower seed pretzels. And Pine, he's like, mom, I want to go fishing. We'll go fishing tomorrow, Pine, I promise. Chunky peanut smoothie, squirrely seed soup. See, we need to get some of this stuff. That would be so fun, Pine. And while we're here, I wonder, because we, you know, that idea about being able to try to heal a squirrel is a pretty fun one. I wonder if we should pick up one of the squirrel data sheets and see what it would take to heal one of the squirrels. So let's go ahead and just see what it would take. Because I do know that Caramel, unfortunately, um, she unfortunately passed away. I'm very sad about that. And we're going to have to find a new squirrel, a new little, a new little squirrel. So you guys can, in fact, go ahead and pick a random number between 1 and 20. Uh, and then, in fact, don't even pick a random number, you guys. Don't even pick a random number. Just put in a new squirrel name and a tiny little bit of like what, how that squirrel's history is. Why did it get injured? Was it just an abandoned baby? Did it get caught by a cat? Did it fall off of like the third story of somebody's house? Like my, my deck and the squirrel that's been trying to climb up onto our third story deck to eat the bird seeds here. Did that happen? What does it need to be healed up? Let me know in the comments. I'll use a random generator. Just pick a random squirrel and, and we'll replace caramel and we do have another empty area too so all right which squirrel you know i'm really attached to nutmeg actually i really think i want to go ahead and to try to rescue nutmeg because nutmeg was the very first squirrel we got in here so we need 32 oak wood 16 pieces of wool, wool uh 24 oak saplings we need 32 eggs and oranges or yutsu fruit and then we need a pumpkin and three old bird nest so you know what i think we're going to give this a little check mark because we are going to go ahead and we're going to try to adopt nutmeg. And we're not going to do that today. It's something where we're just going to try to gather the resources for nutmeg. And was nutmeg in here? Is this nutmeg? Grove number three has, let's see, uh, an older squirrel who broke a leg during the storm. This little one will probably not be able to return to the wild and may make a great ambassador for a zoo or other facility. To adopt it, please put the items listed on its chart in the correct chest. All right, so... I'm pretty sure, and we'll go ahead and swap the wool out, and I'll leave this here. Let's see, and then this is the third one. Hey, oh, Tate! I was supposed to put that away! Pine! Oh, well. All right, so by swapping it out like that, we now indicate that that squirrel is called for, and we're going to try to gather up all of the items for it. So now I just have to remember what those items are. In fact, I wonder if I should take... Can I take this without, like, destroying what's on it? Well, we're going to find out. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Uh, yay! All right! Now we have the list of things to heal nutmeg. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. Okay. Progress is being made. Tate and Pine, please get out of Acorn's exhibit. I beg of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. And I don't think I have enough. Let's see. It's starting to grow back. It's not ready yet. I don't think I have really enough zookeeper experience to be able to come back over here and get some of these things. I want to give Edson some of these things. So, all right, we'll go and we'll do some more work around the zoo tomorrow and we'll look for more things that are available from Zudesia to try to give Edson a sense of what is available in our world and the stories and adventures that he could get up to if he came this way. I'm really excited. I'm also really excited about healing up Nutmeg because I think that would be really fun. I'm so happy about my moths. And let me know what you guys think about the multi-story uh, medicinal herb area and what plants you think should be in there, including plants that are here in our mods in the Minecraftian world, even if they may not have um, correspondence to the real world. So let me know about that. There is another stray chocobo. I probably need to start that farming side series and rebuild the chocobo stables and have chocobo racing soon. <gasps> That'd be so exciting. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <gasps> Hedgehog! Bye-bye, guys.